now it's time for everyone's favorite portion. What's in the box? First, let's open the box. A pro tip, push with your thumbs, hold on the sides, put your hand all the way through and push with your middle finger, and voila. Oh. We have something telling us to stop and read the frequently asked questions. Telling you, hey, this is how you put the battery in. Here's how you put the battery in otherwise. This is how you look at something. And then these are the frequently asked questions. Feel free to pause and read them at your leisure. We also have a sealed owner's manual so you know it's a brand new one. A CR 2032 battery, three volt lithium. The optic itself with a kill flash and lens protectors. Microfiber cloth, a snack in case you get hungry while you're unboxing, and a tool to adjust the mount. You can adjust the mount on this side here, and then you have the quick release mechanism on the other side. Now, battery installation is pretty straightforward. First, remove the battery from the bag. Voila. This is the plus side, and the minus side is obviously the other side. Kind of pops into place along these little prongs here. And then we're going to place the cap back on and twist it. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight. Congratulations, you've successfully installed the battery. As far as features go, you have up to 50,000 hours of battery life. You have two reticle options. One is the 65 MOA circle and the 2 MOA dot, or the 2 MOA dot only. You've got the Shake Awake technology, it's parallax free, unlimited eye relief, 12 brightness settings, 10 daylight and 2 night vision. You have clear glass flip back lens caps with an integrated kill flash. It's CNC milled out of 7075 aluminum housing and it has a hard anodized finish. It also comes with a lower one-third co-witness detachable QD mount and has a waterproof rating of IPX8. Now I'm going to show you how to control this entire optic and all its settings, besides windage and elevation of course, with these two buttons right here. Once you've successfully installed the battery, you can press and hold the plus button or press and hold the minus button and that will turn on the optic itself. It will start out with the 65 MOA dot and circle combination. If you want to go from that to the dot only, press and hold the minus button for three seconds and you'll go to the dot only. Press and hold the minus button again for three seconds and you'll go back to the 65 MOA circle with the two MOA dot. Brightness settings are pretty self-explanatory. Press the plus button to make it brighter. Press the minus button to make it less bright. The more clicks you do, the less bright. The more clicks you do over here, the more bright. That's pretty much it as far as adjustments go. The only other thing that you can do with these two buttons is going to be to adjust the sleep timer mode. Out of the box, it is 10 minutes of inactivity before the optic shuts off to conserve battery life. And then it's shook awake to then turn back on and remember all the settings. If you want to adjust the amount of time it takes to shut off, then you can go into sleep timer mode. To do that, you'll press and hold the plus button for 10 seconds then you'll be able to click through these to select the amount of time that you want it to take before it shuts off. The first one, of course, is the 10 minute. Pressing this twice will give you the one hour option. Three times will give you the 12 hour option. And then four times will give you the disable option, meaning there's no sleep mode at all. It's on all the time. It never shuts off until the battery eventually dies. But again, I recommend doing the 10 minute. I've never had any issues with the Shake Awake technology in any of the Holosuns that I've owned, and it is just a great way to save battery life. To adjust your windage and elevation, simply unscrew the caps on the top and on the side. You'll notice that these caps have little nubs that will double as a tool to adjust elevation and windage. Simply push it in here and then voila you actually have which way you need to turn to go up or down or left or right. I should also note that windage and elevation as far as adjustment goes is a half MOA per click. For the QD mount, uh, something special about this, there's a little button right here. If you press that 
it will move this little nub out of the way enough to flip this open for your quick detach lever to move freely. And then when you go to clamp it down, just push it down and it'll click in place. This is nice because if you are snagging it up against either something on your gear or your kit or against a wall or whatever, this isn't gonna come loose and then pop off. Issues. Here's the part of the video where I tell you not to buy this. And here's why. This is actually my third of the 515 GM that I've received during the review process. And that is not a good sign. The very first one uh, through Amazon was through uh, the, this first seller that I went through and opened it up. The box was ripped. The box that it came in was dented. And then I also noticed the chip in the mount. So we exchanged that one for a new one. The second one that I got, the box was okay, but I opened it up uh, another chip <laughs> and in a, diff a different spot for the mount. And then the actual reticle, the 65 MOA circle and dot combination was crooked. The emitter was somehow uh, not installed correctly or positioned wrong so that the actual reticle was canted and noticeably canted. I'll show you some pictures. I'll roll those in right now so you can see. So I'll return the second one. And then I actually did a full return, got my money back and purchased it from a different seller on Amazon. This third one box was fine. Everything looked new, but there was a chip where the riser mount mounted to the QD mount. And I'll roll in a picture of that. You can tell that they chipped it and then to hide it, they took a Sharpie and they tried to fill it in because there's like a shiny black hue to this one spot. It's kind of obvious that's 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 what they did. So that was already pretty suspect. And then I said, well, just let's double check the emitter and see if that's crooked. And sure enough, that emitter was crooked too. So this is the third one that I've received, crooked emitter, and had some type of chip somewhere. I have not had any issues, which is what's really surprising me. I've not had any issues with any EOTech style reticle options for any of my other Holosuns. I have a 507 CX2 that has that reticle. That's what I use on my pistol pistol. I also had the 512C and that one, same thing, had the EOTech style reticle option or the dot or just the circle. And none of those combinations, the dot obviously wouldn't be an issue because it's a dot, but none of the other combinations on that reticle had any issues with it, with it being canted. And it's really sad because Holosun for the most part was my go-to. Affordable, reliable, great battery life. There's all those things going for it that I touched on earlier in this video. But I would say for this particular model, don't buy it. There might just be a really bad batch that went out, like a large batch where all of the emitters were installed crooked or something. I don't know how they make them, if it's by hand or if it's some type of machine, I'm not sure. But I would wait a while until maybe that batch has gone through stuff. Or if you want to deal with Holosun's customer service, I've heard good and bad things on that. You can take the damaged one and send it into Holosun directly and they can fix it or they can give you one and test it to make sure that the emitter's okay. But for me, uh, my faith is shaken in this particular model and I just don't see myself being able to get another one of these. Sorry guys, I was hoping to have good news for you. <sighs> final thoughts. It's probably pretty obvious at this point as far as final thoughts go that I would advise you not to buy this and I do not like this because the QC on it is crap. <laughs> what I want to know from you guys in the comment section is what should I replace this with? I'm obviously going to return this and get my money back, have 320 ish dollars to spend. What brands are good out there that have great battery life, maybe some different reticle options, because I do like that EOTech style option of reticle for various reasons. If it's just a dot, that's fine, but I'd like to have ShakeWick technology, at least five years of battery life, or at least a couple years of battery life. And I want it to be this price range or less. A couple ideas I have right off the bat is getting the 403 series, which is just a dot and just has, I think, the adjustments on the dial where the battery is. So super basic, lighter, 
and still has that T2 footprint. That's one of the other things I'd like to keep as a requirement. If you guys are giving me suggestions, I want the T2 footprint because there's a ton of mounting options for that footprint. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Well, that's going to do it for me and the Hollow Sun 515 GM. If you liked this video, found it informative, and it stopped you from making a horrible purchase with your hard-earned money, <laughs> be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to be notified when I come out with new reviews, new videos on various libertarian type things, be sure to click that notification bell so you get notified of every new video. If you'd like to help fund these types of purchases for me, click that Patreon link below. Any little bit helps. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay free. God bless.